Hi everyone, Jim here. Uh, today we're going to descale an espresso machine. Let me show you how. So you want to descale your espresso machine at least once a year, probably more often than that. It kind of really depends on how often you use it uh, and how hard your water is. If you, if you know you've got hard water, you know, doing it every two or three months is probably a good idea. Uh, it's one of those things that the more you do it, it doesn't hurt. So uh, basically what you do is you use, uh, I'm going to use Descal made by Ernix. And it's an acid that goes in there and gets rid of all the calcium deposits out of the boiler and throughout the, the group head and stuff. Um, so the first step is to empty all the water out and then we'll mix up a solution and pump it through the system. So let me show you how to do that. So the first step is gonna to be to remove the reservoir. If you've got a water softener on part of your system, you're gonna to wanna to pull that out and recharge that as well, which is what I do. So the first step is to pull out the water softener and pull it out. So once you have the water softener out, we're gonna to wanna to take three teaspoons of salt and dissolve it in warm water. While we're doing the rest of the steps, we'll let the water softener recharge in the salt water solution. So once we have our water softener soaking in our salt water solution, we'll just set that off to the side. Okay. Our next step will be to pull out, pull out the water reservoir and dump out whatever water's in there. So our next step is going to be to put together our solution. So we take one ounce of Descal and mix it with 32 ounces of water. Now that we have the solution in the reservoir, we'll want to run water through the system so that we get the boiler full of solution as well as all the group components. So we'll start by running about 16 ounces into a measuring cup through the water outlet. Now we want to run a couple of ounces through the brew head so the plumbing in that area is all saturated with a solution as well. Okay, now the next step is just to wait for 20 minutes to let everything soak. Alexa, set timer for 20 minutes. Okay, so it's been 20 minutes, but I haven't descaled this in a while, so I'm actually gonna run the other 16 ounces through. Right now I'll run off another 16 ounces through the side wand and the head, and then let it soak for another 20 minutes. When you do this, you want to make sure that your you don't run your boiler dry. So keep an eye on the, the long tube going into your reservoir. I've run everything through. I'm going to let this soak for another 20 minutes, and then I'll start running three batches of clean water through it to clear out all the acid. Okay. So it's been 20 minutes. Now we need to flush the system with, with clean water. So we'll put a quarter at a time in here, flush it through the steam wand and the group head, and we'll do that for three times. And that should get every, all the acid out of the system. Okay, now our machine is completely descaled. The last step we have is if you did have a water softener, we now need to run this under fresh water for about five minutes. So let's do that. Okay, it's been five minutes and this is completely flushed. One of the things that you wanna do is when you're pouring water through it, you wanna test the water coming out the, the top side to make sure it doesn't have any salty taste to it. That's when you know that it's completely recharged. So our final step is to hook the water softener back up. And this, on the Rancilio, this connects to the longer of the two hoses going into the reservoir. And with that in, 
we're all set to go. This machine is now completely descaled and the water softener is completely recharged. Couldn't be easier. Um, like I said before, this is one of those things that you want to do fairly regularly. It keeps the machine in tip top shape. One thing you don't want to have happen is have your boiler get full of mineral deposits. Um, after a while, the, it gets impossible to descale. It'll affect its ability to heat water and it'll do damage to the heating element. Um, both of those are expensive to replace, so it's good maintenance to do pretty regularly. I'll put a link in the description below where you can get the Descal from on Amazon. And if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more content, please hit subscribe. I do maintenance videos, recipes, product reviews, all sorts of things. So I'd love to have you on my channel. See you in the next video. Thank you.